Hello everyone, welcome back to the Altengrad city in City Skylines. In the last episode we worked on the railways, we built some connections to the main train station and built some more city blocks around it. Today I would like to move closer to the city center and uh, start expanding the finished areas. We will build a big hospital complex on the side of the park together with more blocks around it. I'm going to start right away by placing some first buildings for the hospital complex. Uh, I'm not really showing it in here, but I tried various kinds of buildings in here, but I finally settled on using these. Now, these are industrial buildings, actually. You can place them as offices as well, I think, but uh, they come from a pack of buildings made by Titan, and uh, they are primarily intended to be like a factory complex. They kind of look like factories, especially with these roofs, but as you can see, I'm using procedural objects to convert the, the standard, the default roof, into like a gable roof, uh, which is definitely going to fit the city a lot more. I'm also using procedural objects with some of these buildings to just get rid of some windows, as you can see in here, where the roof would just go into that corner building. I'm using this corner building because I wasn't, at this point, I wasn't sure how I'm going to do the corners with uh, with the roofs. So it's just much better to use the roofs on the slightly shorter buildings and then do the edges or the ends of this line of building uh, with uh, just something slightly taller. There is unfortunately going to be that uh, default roof there, but it's actually forming a nice contrast, so I don't really mind. Towards the end of the episode, I'm also going to do some detailing on these roofs so they don't look uh, this, this plain. Now, we also need to do some expansion of the city blocks, of the regular buildings, like residential or offices or something, around this place. Now, as you can see, you can probably tell in this shot that we are on the edge of the park, right? So we are closer to the places that we have been building in the last episode. So we are nicely going to uh, connect those places together. Now, this is something that, uh, that I did with the procedural objects again. I'm using the smallest building with that factory pack of buildings again. And uh, I'm basically creating like a, like a walkway over the street between different uh, parts of the hospital complex. This is something that I really wanted to put here to kind of emphasize that uh, these places do form or these blocks do form like one big hospital complex that is like walkable, you know, all the way through it. So this is just going to be kind of a tiny detail, but I really wanted to show you the whole process of uh, building this walkway. So I was not exactly sure how I'm going to approach it, what kind of, you know, object I'm going to use for it. I finally decided to just pick one building and kind of shrink all the windows together and uh, just get rid of the walls underneath it on the roofs on top of that and uh, just do something like this. Then I took this bridge pillar, uh, merged some of the nodes together to get rid of some features of the model and uh, just only use what I need. And I'm using the scaling in here in this particular case to just uh, stretch it right over the road. By the way, I'm showing you this uh, it's not like exactly in chronological order. You can see that on the left side there, there's like a different building that I placed originally. That's because uh, the game crashed on me. So uh, I had to re-record making this uh, walkway slightly later. So, you know, it might seem like it's not exactly in order, but uh, it's just the full process of building that walkway, right? But the building on the left there, I'm going to put it there later, all right? Now, I'm uh, finishing these roofs. As you can see in here, I kind of had to do the, the edge of it. It's looking like a, it's looking a bit messy at this point because the roof obviously does not come with these shapes. I have to stretch that with a procedural objects and just fit these corners nicely. But uh, the other corner in here, I really didn't figure out how to do that one because there is also like an elevation difference between uh, the tops of the roofs. So again, I just put some uh, some taller building with the standard roof, which is just going to cover the corner. I also figured that it might be a good idea to put uh, some older buildings in, uh, in, the, in the courtyard of this hospital building. And this kind of leads me to where I took the inspiration for this build. So I mostly took inspiration from uh, really old hospitals uh, from the Austrian Empire. So definitely Prague, but also Vienna and some other cities. Now the hospital, the old hospital complex in Vienna is 
I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but you can easily just uh, see it on Google Maps, for example. It's like a very orderly looking complex of kind of not so tall buildings, but uh, it's just looking very, very good. I kind of took some inspiration uh, from that uh, hospital when I'm going to do this second part of the complex that is connected uh, through the, you know, through the walkway to the first first part. But uh, I have to admit that I was using a lot of inspiration also from from the Prague's hospital, the, the very old one, which was also built in back in the back in the Austrian Empire era, because uh, it's a it's a hospital complex that combines a lot of buildings from different time periods and buildings that were not originally part of the hospital, but were kind of added to it and uh, just rebuilt a couple of times in history and you know so on. So the hospital is not really going to look like it's made from uh, you know one particular like style. It's just going to be a mix of different buildings that are going to be just you know interconnected or connected together. So for example, when I placed that uh, church in that previous shot, I'm thinking that maybe uh, that was built there when the park, the big park, the rectangular park with very uniform geometry, it was not there back in the day, right? Maybe the main street was going along that church and all those uh, old buildings in the courtyard. But uh, later, when the park was formed, the new hospital, uh, the new hospital buildings were built, right? So those were the buildings that we built in, uh, in, the, first, uh, in the first shots of the time lapse, okay? Now this second part that I did with the procedural objects in here, that might be the older part of the hospital, but uh, it's not like there are two main parts of the hospital, there are maybe like 10 parts that were built gradually over time. And, uh, you know, in the 1930s that we are in right now, uh, you know, we have the, just the mix of these different kinds of styles that are forming the hospital. And like I said, maybe some buildings were not originally part of it, but uh, got uh, connected into the complex as it uh, grew in size, all right? So that's pretty much the rough shape of uh, the hospital finished. I didn't really comment much on the, on the process of building that procedural objects uh, uh, outline of that hospital complex, really. I basically used the actual hospital building in the game, which I already placed in, in Altengrad before, if you remember. But uh, I really wanted to have it uh, differently shaped this time so that it's not going to look like, uh, you know, it's not going to be super obvious that it is just a copy of building that I already placed somewhere else in the city. So I used procedural objects and there's that very nice feature. I was already using it with the walkway, but there's the nice feature of just merging certain vertices together. And uh, there's also like a functionality, maybe unintended, but if you're going to pick like one cluster of nodes and merge it together and neighboring cluster, then the model is basically going to split in half, right? So if it's uh, a building like this one, the hospital building that has like a, like a rectangular hollow shape, then you can just cut some parts of it, you know, away from each other. So that's very nice. If you want to, from that, uh, you know, rectangular shape, if you want to create like a U-shaped part only, right? So that's very good, that's very good. And like I said, that's already what I used with the walkway, with, for example, that bridge underneath uh, underneath the walkway. It allowed me to just customize the shape of that building and kind of align it to the street layout as well, because that's something that I really like to do in city skylines, especially in Altengrad, because obviously you have uh, buildings in real life that are not perfectly like with 90 degree corners, right? You have some buildings that are aligned, towards the streets, maybe they, they were like refurbished, uh, made uh, from some really old buildings or something like that. They just need to follow the road layout, right? So rarely in very old European cities, you see buildings that have 90 degree corners. But obviously from the workshop, you mostly download buildings with 90 degree corners. So it's always a welcome uh, change to just do something slightly different because I think it adds to the overall natural feeling of the city that you can just do these kinds of different shapes. In this case, obviously, I have to use procedural objects, but uh, there are some buildings from the workshop that uh, are already prepared for some kind of uh, you know city building like that. I can, for example, name the castle that we built all the way in episode one. That's very good for some non 90 degree corners. And there are a couple of more buildings like that. Some of those palace buildings that I have placed a couple of more times uh, in the in the city in the past. So, you know, that's always nice. That's pretty much the reason why I also did 
like this 45 degree corner in here with those newer buildings. But this is obviously something different because these are uh, like individual buildings that are clipped together that are forming the overall larger structure. So we are back uh, next to the park and in here I'm doing some kind of a some kind of a plaza. Now we have some terrain differences, some elevation differences in here. So again, very nice, very nice opportunity to create some some you know plaza with like different levels that are connected by these stairs. For example, we can do some retaining walls, some of these surfaces, and then obviously it's going to be all nicely detailed. Uh, these are the retaining walls that are part of some railway projects or something. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't used them before in the city for these kinds of like decorative retaining walls. So, you know, something new. That's always nice. I'm going to place a fountain right uh, so that it, it is aligned with those stairs. I'm going to also put some planters in here, obviously, because this uh, area is quite large so that we need to break it apart with uh, with something green even though we are next to the park but still you know this place is a, a bit too large to be only uh, only covered with the cobblestone as you can see by the trams down there there is a tram station i wasn't really decorating the tram station that much i'm not really doing that in Altengrad at all but uh, it's going to be quite busy because these buildings for the hospital complex are functional uh, i think that uh, i think that none of these buildings are actually a hospital so most of these are like offices or residential buildings. I should probably maybe place those like uh, cube fake buildings inside of some of these buildings to actually have a hospital. I haven't done that, but I guess I could add it now that I'm thinking of it. Anyway, as you can see, doing some actually last detailing in this place, even though we are not finished with the episode, I'm, uh, I'm still going to do some city blocks, but uh, we are finished mostly with this, uh, with this plaza. I'm making sure to place uh, some of these uh, uh, parks people's generator because it's going to look very nice how people are just going to gather in this place. I'm also putting up these uh, paths in here to obviously connect everything together so that it's nicely functional, people can walk through the place. And I'm also connecting it through the hospital building because there is like a like a drive-through place through the through the building, like it's actually modeled in, so that people can walk through it, um, you know, into some of these uh, courtyards, because like I said, those buildings are all functional, mostly like offices or unique buildings or something. So there are actually be, there are going to be quite a lot of people walking through this place. I'm uh, just uh, doing some last detailing with, uh, with the street lights, the lamps and everything. And obviously we need to make this place nicely green. I'm going to use some tall trees around the edges in here. I think it's going to look really nice. I'm not going to try to like fill all of these places uh, like uh, completely with uh, something green, especially in the courtyards. I'm going to leave a lot of spaces open so that people can even walk uh, on the grass or something. I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead. I'm going to show you that later. Uh, I'm going to do some detailing for the roofs in here. I think I'm not showing in here, but I also did like an outline of the roofs because there were some inconsistencies. Uh, some edges of the gable roof were kind of showing through. And uh, then I put the chimneys up. Uh, I guess I could have even done some like uh, the windows on the roofs. I'm not sure what they are called, but uh, I didn't find any, any nice asset for it. I guess I could just have extracted some of these from some buildings with procedural objects, but I think the chimneys are, you know, fine fine addition to the roof and it kind of makes it more believable that the roof is actually a part of the building right so that there is some kind of detailing on it so this is what i was talking about i'm going to detail the inner courtyard of the hospital complex i'm thinking like i said that this building that we have built uh, with the factory buildings is probably the newest addition to the entire hospital so it's even looking like it's you know cleaner compared to the rest of the buildings it definitely has like the shiniest uh, color on the roof or something like that. And uh, I'm also going to make sure that some areas around it are kind of empty. So I'm not really going to overdo it too much with the trees. I'm just going to put some in here and I'm going to put these benches into the grass like this. So maybe some, you know, patients can just walk around the complex if they wanted to. I also have this, uh, this, uh, this church in here. I made sure that it's oriented uh, uh, correctly like all the other churches in the town as some of you pointed it out in the past episodes. I also put that little 
I don't know what that is, the building on the side of the of the church. I think it's a nice detail. There are some elevation differences again. The terrain is quite steep around it, so I had to just hide the edges of uh, of the model of the church by some trees because that works perfectly fine. Uh, while I was talking about all of this, I also built some couple of uh, residential buildings and just blocks of buildings around the hospital complex. You can see that in front of this old complex in here that I've created like a loop with the roads and just buildings all around it. That's not exactly all that super important. I'm not really showing it in today's episode. I think I'm going to talk a bit more about that later. Anyway, we are back with the old complex and I'm just going to do some detailing inside of it. I really didn't want to put any buildings in here, only this uh, this church again, I think it's a church. I'm not exactly sure what it is in the, in the hospital complex right now. It might be just part of the hospital. Maybe it used to be a church, maybe it used to be something else, but I just needed some building to hide uh, some ugliness that uh, was kind of inevitable because of the conversion to the procedural object, right? As you can also see, this older complex is not fully enclosed. There's that corner which is uh, left open. I just placed some fences in there. I'm thinking that maybe the hospital complex, this old one, was uh, never finished or maybe it was damaged in some wars or maybe it caught on fire or something burned down. I'm not exactly sure, it doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to have it slightly more interesting, do some something different. And uh, there's always some room for maybe some future changes to the to the complex, right? So that's always nice to have. Anyway, doing some detailing with this opposite side of this old complex uh, because there are some terrain differences again. So there are there are going to be some uh, walk paths around the outline of the building, and there are going to be connections to that uh, lower level using some stairs. Obviously, using these uh, as retaining walls, and then doing some of these surfaces like this. I'm not showing it in the time lapse at all. I think I only hinted it slightly with some with some shots, but I am building quite a lot of uh, different blocks around the hospital. So you're definitely going to notice that in the cinematics and it might not look like it uh, right now, but I did finish like a huge chunk of the city. You can see that right here. We have the park and uh, right below it, we finished uh, like a really big portion of the city from this view, it might even look like we did like, I don't know, one fifth or one quarter of the entire city, but unfortunately not. But nevertheless, uh, it was a serious expansion. It was pretty much exactly the same thing that I did in the previous previous episodes. So it's not all that super interesting, but it's something that's necessary. I think I even talked about this in the previous uh, Aurelia episode that I would really like to concentrate in some of these parts, I would really like to concentrate on just doing some quantity expansion and uh, doing some more detailed projects like in between that, because overall the city is definitely going to benefit from that uh, like very big expansion of some not so interesting looking blocks, because ultimately it's just going to be this quantity that's going to have, that's going to complete this uh, feeling of the city, right? But obviously, don't worry, I'm going to do some more interesting parts between these blocks. So it's not just the blocks in the city, like, for example, the hospital or some future projects that I have in mind around this area. This is the plaza. As you can see, there is the tram stop, uh, you know, right next to it. There are quite a lot of people uh, waiting for the tram. So just using the plaza, walking even through that uh, that uh, entrance to the hospital complex. So, you know, I'm quite satisfied with how this place uh, turned out. It's looking it's looking really good. From this view, you can see how the hospital complex just fits nicely between all these blocks of buildings. And you can see that these blocks are nothing special. Uh, like I mentioned many times before, they are just necessary to to form some sort of a fill between some of these projects. So, for example, in the distance there, you can see the train station, the train depot that we built for the terminus train station. And on the opposite side, we have the park. There are still some empty blocks uh, around the park, as you can see, but I don't think I'm going to focus on that too much in the coming episodes because I would like to go more towards the river, towards the places where we did the infrastructure, the railways in the previous episode and just work around there. So we will return to the park area probably when we go to that main train station because that also needs to be completed. Anyway, that is all for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching it. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can always put a thumbs up underneath the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. 
Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and goodbye.